we all breathe because of the forest. And there's a saying that when the last to die, the last man die. In the 80s and the early 90s, even when we were traveling on highway, and could see trees and forests just by the roadside. Forests were then everywhere. And nobody ever dreamed trees would get extinct. Tem na ngule yena, nje na sati e wona. Kaji na oti ngule na sati le ngati ma opo opo ngana. Mo ya nje ngati ma jo nje sata gbandi o fully amuva wewa. Jingula ina. We are planting indigenous species so that we can make the forest natural the way it was like 50 years ago. We are dealing with restoration of tropical forests, which is key to climate change mitigation and adaptation. We are sinking carbon. We are also going to restore biodiversity as it was in the past. For any restoration project to be successful, we cannot work in isolation. We have got communities around. We also have got partners in form of the government. Before we plant the tree, we have to engage uh, the community. So you can only sustain that project if you listen to them. In rainforest builder, we are not just planting the same species in one compartment, we are doing mixed species. We mix all those species together in one tree, then we send it to the field. We have the pioneer trees that they grow fast, capture the area, they close the canopy. We have the trees that capture a lot of carbon. The ones that produce fruits, the animals will be attracted to. We have the full bundle of the ecosystem services, pollinators, NTFPs for local communities and all that. We are using remote sensing, GIS, in the way we deal with our analysis, also dealing with our validation of, of our data. The Rainforest Builder has brought a lot of employment opportunities for the communities near the forest reserves. Especially women, like in the nursery, the percentage of the women is higher than men. Our social development agreement is also doing capacity building for those community members. So we're engaging them in, in giving them new agricultural skills. By planting those trees, what we're doing is improving the quality of water in those communities and also address the issues of good agricultural practices. So far, we have employed nearly 1,000 workers in Ghana. We have built a lot of roads, and all this, there's benefit to rainforests and also the communities. There's real kind of positive drive moving forward to really impact communities through climate change actions. I am a rainforest builder and I'm proud to be one of them. This is not just about again forest builders' work. It is about the people of Sierra Leone. It is about the people in Africa. It's a global fight. We believe the future is bright. And I believe whatever we are building today is actually going to be great for this community, great for Ghana, great for the world. It's possible to bring back the forest. The future is restorable.